Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at a Jurassic World figure, and it's the Stegoceratops. If you haven't guessed by now, one of the main themes in the new Jurassic World film coming out this summer is they're making new dinosaurs. So they're mixing up dinosaurs in the film, and I think it's kind of an interesting idea. They're making these brand new genetically modified hybrids and well they're doing it because they've got to make new product and that's a very interesting idea uh, in animal uh, zoo park themes uh, so that's kind of weird so this is the first one I think that we've seen that wasn't talked about in write-ups for the film so the Indominus Rex is like the big bad guy it's like a cross between a velociraptor a snake and a t-rex um, this guy is obviously a cross between a Stegosaur and a Triceratops. I don't know if this is actually going to make the film, but I really like the idea and I think the toy came out pretty, pretty cool. So taking a look at the package itself, it's very similar to the Indominus Rex figure that we've seen. We get the Tyrannosaur here, the Jurassic World logo. We get this kind of dinosaur background there. It's an open um, clamshell so you can actually uh, test out the play gimmick, which is pretty cool. Shows you how to do that. It's got the name, all that kind of good stuff there. So just kind of a close up. There he is. There's the Jurassic World logo. Um, we get the logo over here. Same thing there. Not much going on. And then here are some of the other figures that you can get in the line. Um, the T-Rex, the Ankylosaurus, and uh, the Spinosaurus. Um, pretty cool, but they're just not big enough. This one, I think, is in a pretty good scale, especially next to the uh, uh, Irex. Um, here's the back of the package. Kind of gives you a write-up here of the uh, Stegoceratops, which is very strange to say. We got the little um, uh, picture of the dinosaur there. Definitely cool. Authentic Jurassic World logo. Definitely cool. Really, really digging that. Uh, again, there's the logo, which is painted on the side of the dinosaur. And then here's the little write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you can. So let's go ahead and get the Stegoceratops out of package and see what we think. So here we have the Stegoceratops out of package and the sculpt on this guy is really, really cool. I am digging him. I think they did a good job with him. He looks very pissed off like he's about to attack something. Um, I like the colors. I like the green and the brown. I think they did a good job with the paint apps. We got the Jurassic World logo here. He does have some battle damage, which again is kind of a trademark of Jurassic Park toys. It'd be nice if that could be covered up, but it is what it is. This particular figure is not too terribly expensive. It was only $9.99, and then the battle gimmick is pretty cool. You just kind of pull the tail down, and his head uh, kind of charges forward. So that's pretty neat, pretty fun. Articulation, he does have some articulation in his legs, um, not too terribly much, and he's really just kind of in a battle stance. Um, detail, really, really nice. Love the way they painted the frill. Very cool stuff. I mean, they went all out with the paint apps on the figure. Um, just looks really, really cool. Um, love the Stegosaurus tail and the frills up here. Really nice. Definitely digging him. Um, it's a fun toy, for sure. Uh, especially if you're a dinosaur fan. You're really, really going to like this guy. For comparison, here is Stegoceratops with the Transformers Cybertron. Megatron. Here he is with the Transformers Robots in Disguise Grimlock. Here's the Stegoceratops with the Transformers Universe Triceradon. These two actually scale really, really nice together, and it makes me wish we had hybrid Transformer Dinobots. They look really, really cool together. And finally, here he is with the Indominus Rex figure from Jurassic World. 
And these two scale really, really nice together. Um, they're probably going to go up my shelf together, uh, battling it out in the Jurassic World movie. Definitely cool, definitely fun, and I really like this dinosaur line, and I might have to pick up a few more. Is the Stegoceratops a toy that you want in your collection? Well, if you're a dinosaur fan, I think you're really going to like this. What kid hadn't thought of what a Triceratops and a Stegosaurus would look like combined? And here we go! We've got it! I really hope this dinosaur makes it into the movie. I think it's a great idea. It has a lot of really fun playability to it. I think it scales really, really well to the Indominus Rex from the same line. The paint apps are nice, and it's just a really well-sculpted toy. Um, if you're into the Jurassic Park toys, this is a really great update in the line, and I think you're going to be really pleased, and the price point is great. Now we just need hybrid Dinobots in the Transformers line, and I'll be super happy. So there he is, the Stegoceratops. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely subscribe to my channel, share my videos, add a comment down below. What do you think of the Stegoceratops? Do you want to see this in the new Jurassic World movie? What other hybrid dinosaurs would you like to see? So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, look for more videos in the future.